research has confirmed that there are certain kinds of music that actually destroy the brain, but music that he plays, classical music, and you call this harmonious music, it restores and promotes health mm -hmm. in general. Um, so it's a healing art. And also the, uh, the discipline that comes and is necessary and is really, really um, required in perfecting such pieces, mm -hmm. you know. Um, needs a lot of the best of your abilities, the highest of your faculties. So it helps him in all areas of his life to optimize really and maximize all his potential. It's really a privilege to be part of the life of the students. So I, I'm meeting different students, different backgrounds, different personalities and different aspirations. And just by looking at our students, their potential, I'm just so humbled to be, to be used by God to really hone them. Well, DJ is blind, but he, do, he doesn't look like a blind person. <laughs> In fact, there was a time when we don't feel like, it, like that he's blind. Sometimes we have this uh, group work and people just thought that he's not blind. Minsan na iwan na siya somewhere. That is because that's how he can adapt to to us mm -hmm. so uh, we and then I, I would say that he has this very humble life okay. very teachable I, I don't hear DJ really complaining about things mm -hmm. about his being blind I would always see him smile and uh, and sometimes he would even joke around if mm -hmm. I would if, if I may use a word mm -hmm. joke around he's being blind mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not really it's not really uh, an issue for him. His parents were inspired by the struggles and aspirations of Joseph the Dreamer. They never thought that he would lead a path similar to that of the well-loved biblical character. Like Joseph the Dreamer, the 18-year-old musician is a miracle child for many reasons. For one, he underwent chemotherapy at the age of two, was cancer-free for a few months, and to their dismay, the eye tumor elevated to a more aggressive stage that would eventually result to a decision between losing his life or losing both of his eyes. I felt angry and 
I felt like it was so unfair knowing that uh, my son's side will soon be at stake. So that was my initial reaction. I was very, very angry. Great struggle. Um, I would not really call it a very great struggle because family was always very supportive. But what really pained me, you know, is seeing my child not able to do what kids usually do okay. his age. Like going around with friends. Uh, that is what is what was really painful for me. His condition allowed him to experience the world in a different parlance. Beyond darkness, he lives with so much happiness in his heart, believing that life is not a mystery to be solved, but rather a beautiful journey to be experienced with overflowing gratitude. After all, he shares, our satisfaction is tantamount not to what we don't have, but on what are available and those that can be felt.